Welcome, uh, my name is Mayo. Uh, this is a short series of Cataclysm Starting Zone quest guides. Uh, today we are in the area of Cold Ridge Valley uh, where the dwarves live. So without further ado, let's start. So uh, we start out here near uh, Jor and Ironstock. What's he got? Slay six rock jaw invaders, which are these guys. And they're also over here. And there's some people shooting them, which isn't helpful. Right. It's funny how everyone seems to be missing. Not very good shot it seems. So I won't be looting a lot, as I won't be needing a lot of money. They're spread out, uh, actually only in the small area, but close to the quest giver nonetheless. And they spawn fairly quickly, so there shouldn't be a shortage of rock jaw invaders. It's quite cold in this skirt. There we go. Don't know why they're not attacking him. Okay, first quest is done and dusted. Let's go to Draw and Ironstock again. See what he's got for us. For me, he has some legs. Okay. Kill three rock jaw goons. And a second quest from Sten Stout Arm. Use Sten's first aid kit on four wounded Coldridge Mountaineers. Okay, the, uh, the injured mountaineers will be kneeling, like so. Uh, you click on them, and you can either right click the item here, or in your inventory. And she owes me one. And the goons are a bit further out, and the, uh, the slightly bigger ones who is trying to kill this injured one, injured uh, dwarf, so... <sighs> Payback time, knock me back. One health left, there we go. And we shall go and save her now, 10 HP. Okay, you're going to gonna heal four of them, if I didn't say before. And three goons. Quite easy to see, and level 2. Very easy, of course. Trying to kill another wounded mountaineer over here. And I've missed, dear me. <laughs> Never mind. Right, that's all the goons I need. Just need two more mountaineers. One here and another over here. Has a 5 second cooldown, these bandages. Okay, now both of those are done, we shall turn them in, first of all to Sten Stout Arm, just to the left of where you start, just XP and a bit of money, okay, jaw and iron stock, he has a belt for me, also has a wrist and feet, okay, another quest. Speak with Joan Ironstock in Anvilmar, which is if you follow, just follow this path up here. That's where we start. This is the path. Just follow into this building over here. Some training dummies. Okay, and she will be uh, here. She is, and she walks around the room. So don't worry if you can't find her, she would just be walking around. First things first, what we're going to do? Obtain a cask of Stormhammer Stout, a cask of Theramore Pale Ale, and a cask of Gnome Bra. Gnome Brew? Bra? Okay, and another one. Grundle Harkin. Uh, obtain five Forgotten Dwarven Artifacts. 
Okay, let's go and get these. Right, okay. So... Apparently, one of the... Uh, aha, here we go. Keg of Stormhammer Stout. Go out the entrance to Anvil Mar and do a U-turn to the right. Where we're going now. The other side, it appears. Yep. Uh, should be around here somewhere. There we are. By this tree. Near the graveyard. Uh, keg of Noman Brow. Perhaps that's how you say it. Okay. Let's go get cask of Theramor Pale Ale right on the other side as well as the first one and then we'll go back to the other side to complete the Dwarven Artifacts to collect five uh, oh there's one here it appears that they are all around this area then. yes that does seem to be the case Right, this last pale ale, ah, there we go. So it's quite far to the right. Uh, take the path to the right, keep following it, and it's this big barrel uh, in front of a tree. Just further down there, there are some tents. So, um, yeah, and then uh, most of these artifacts, they're not too hard to find because they're sparkly. But they are rather small, so keep an eye out for them. Most of them seem to be to the north of the north of the valley. But of course I haven't actually checked around the rest of the valley. So yeah, now we've completed these two. We can go back to Anvil Mar. And um complete the two quests and see what we get where are we then? here we are, entrance is just there would have thought that just being in this, uh, this dress skirt, whatever would have given me a bit more clothing than just that. I'll probably be freezing my nipples off. Here we are. Uh, Grundle Harkin. Artifacts. Bit of XP. Uh, another quest. Obtain five priceless rock jaw artifacts from rock jaw scavengers. Okay. Uh, Jonah Ironstock the barrels and casks. Uh, that hits the spot. Okay. Just XP as well. Uh, obtain three boar hun haunches and four ragged wolf hides. Okay. So, uh, gotta kill some boars, wolves, and rock jaws. Rock jaw scavengers. First of all, we shall kill the uh, the boars and the wolves. Actually, a mixture, seeing as scavengers are pretty close as well. Okay. Uh, it's not a hundred percent drop, by the way. You may have to kill more than three, and we shall probably, f yep, level up. Level 3, new ability. We shall collect that when we hand these two quests to them. Right, I'm not sure if the artifacts are 100% drop. But so far, 2 out of 2. 3 out of 3. Okay, let's go check this one. Four out of four. One last one. Do. 
So yeah, five out of five. Five artifacts from five rock jaw scavengers. Might not be 100%, but for me it was. Right, I'm gonna kill some more boars. Uh, yeah, there's one. The rabbits are rather big. Nearly as big as me. Nearly as big as the boars as well. Anyway, moving on. No look there. Watch out for their charge ability. doesn't do any damage or stun you or anything but just in case you think you can kill it long ranged it will just run up on you still need one more from a bar there yeah these are mostly scattered all around the valley I presume uh, I'm killing them in the east of the, the west of the valley even Okay, still nothing. Okay, hopefully this will drop the last one I need. And it does. Right, now for the wolves. They are more to the center and eastern area of the, uh, the valley. You can see this blue area here. They're all around there. It's embarrassing. Didn't kill that area. Didn't kill that rabbit in one. Right, the wolves are here. These ones don't have charge, so they should be a lot easier to kill if you're ranged. Well. The charge doesn't really make it hard at all, but uh, if you are ranged, you can normally kill them before they actually get to you. So, again, I don't know if these uh, wolf hides are 100%, but so far I've got three hides from three wolves. Four from four, and we've completed both quests now. So we're gonna go back to Anvil Mart and uh, turn them in. Just up a head. Um, yeah, so I can't actually see any boars in the central area where you save the mountaineers. So my guess is that they're just to uh, the left of the valley. But obviously I haven't scouted the whole area. So don't take my complete word for it. Okay, uh where are we? The artifacts. Uh they are all chests. Yeah. 